When Allah says, hold on to Allah. I'tisam actually means to hold on to something that if you let go, you'll die. Hold on tight. For isma, isma means protection. I'tisam is to hold on for protection. Like imagine if you fell off of a boat or a, or a ship or something, and the only thing you're holding on to is the rope or the anchor. If you let go of it, you're done. Allah says, hold on to Allah for dear life. You know what that means, right? That means if my, the people around me abandon me, if the people that were around you, that you were practicing deen because your friends were religious, and you were in a good environment, now you're in college, and you're the only Muslim there. You're like, man, my friends aren't there anymore, so I don't feel so inclined towards Islam anymore. I don't really feel like praying anymore. I don't really feel like, you know, I don't have that connection anymore. No, no, no. Whether people hold on to you or not, whether the support system is there or not, this is why we're the legacy of Ibrahim alayhi salam. He, he, that young man held on to his religion and he was the only one holding on to his religion. There was no support around him. His family didn't support him. His society didn't support him. He's a one-man nation. That's why Allah calls him an ummah by himself. A nation by himself. And we are his following. You know what that means? That we don't make the excuse that the environment around us is bad. And that's why we don't submit to Allah. That our friends are messed up and that's why we're messed up. That man, you don't know what my crowd is like. Who cares what your crowd is like? You're the legacy of Ibrahim alayhi salam. You're the only light in the middle of all the darkness. You don't make the excuses. You're there to get rid of darkness, not to be part of it. That's, the, that's your function. And so you hold on to Allah. Because everything else will come and go. Everything else will come and go. وَاَعْتَصِمُوا بِاللَّهِ هُوَ مَوْلَاكُمْ He is your protective friend. He is your security. He is the one that's going to guard you. فَنِعْمَ الْمَوْلَى وَنِعْمَ النَّصِيرِ What an incredible protection he, he is. What a, uh, an amazing protective guardian he is. The word an nasir Allah describes how, what an amazing helper he is. But the word nasir comes from the Arabic word nusra. Some of you are familiar. إِذَا جَاءَ نَصْرُ اللَّهِ وَالْفَتْحِ the word Nasr in the Arabic language isn't just help. It's actually massive aid. If I help you outside because you have a flat tire, I don't say Nasartuka, I say Sa'attuka. I helped you. Nusra is like an aid package. Billions of dollars are being given to some country in aid. That's Nusra. A huge army came to help a country that's been invaded. That's Nusra. Nusra is not a small kind of help. It's massive legions of help. It's like when Allah will send armies of angels. That's called Nusra. That's Nusra. That's the aid of Allah. The massive aid of Allah. Allah is saying, he, Naseeb, the, the fa'il form, actually means, how amazing is Allah? That He's always there, ready to aid you in the most massive ways. When you have held on to Allah, you've held on to the strongest possible support you could have that is constant. فَنِعْمَ الْمَوْلَى وَنِعْمَ النَّصِيرِ You have nothing left to worry about. This is the mentality of someone who accepts the legacy of the religion of their father Ibrahim alayhi salam.